Hi, I'm Lana. I was asked by Sheila Wasaki, Fearless PI, to retell my hooray story regarding crowdsourcing because I am the vegetable lady. Here's why. I was watching a video created by John Lorden, who is a crime vlogger extraordinaire, and it was regarding the murder case of Lauren Ag, and they were discussing the triangle mark that was found on her body. Um, this, there's something about this case that compelled me to seek answers in any way that I could help. Uh, I have no formal training in anything related to the field of crime, but there was just something about this case. And um, I'm a very visual person, and I tend to draw out my solutions or my ideas to things. And while I was watching the video, the only thing in front of me was a plate of vegetables I was cutting up for lunch. So feeling slightly irreverent, but meaning no disrespect, I used a cucumber for a head and a mushroom for the torso. And I used the tip of my paring knife as the tip of the mark and kind of pressed them together and made an impression that I felt that the boat would have made. And there was just something biting at my brain about this. I knew that um, either the mark was backwards to what they were saying, either the body had to be the other direction or it was a different mark on the boat that had to have made it because it was a reverse image. So after yelling at the TV and realizing they weren't going to hear me and thinking, yep, they're going to say I'm crazy, whatever, I took a photo of the impression that I had made and emailed it off to both Sheila and John. And I was so shocked to hear back very quickly, actually, from both of them that I had actually helped make a decision in what made the mark. So I have to say that those nagging thoughts at the back of your head, even if they come from vegetables, listen to them because you might just help solve something. Thanks.